hey snowdrops so today officially a year ago today i started writing the alex's adventure series which is something that is so important to me now so um i'm gonna explain why that all happened so it was revival week just like this week and we so my church's youth group we always go to do something in between the services so we went to the minions movie which i will say i definitely loved rise of crew one well eh it was all right but so um and the reason i really started thinking about it today was because once again we went to the movies except last year it was on wednesday and this year it was on a monday i think i don't know i've lost track of time at this point <laughs> It's summer break, my brain don't work. But so, um, anyways, so I was sitting in the back row and the app I used to write story song kicked me out. So this was when I was still writing the snowflake stories, which I'm writing a version of that one now, except that it's told in um, third person and not first and a few other little differences. But so, um, yeah, it kicked me out. I signed back in, but I used the wrong email. Because, you see, at the time, I, I was being dumb and I didn't use, excuse me, I didn't use my email. I used my parents. And they have, like, three. My mom's work email, the main email, my dad's email, work email. So, got kind of confusing. And I signed in on the wrong one. I was, to say the least, mad. But that gave me a sliver of hope. And that's when I started writing Alex's Adventures. Um, all the, uh, uh, so last year during an English class, we had to do a whole essay thing, like a little short story, whatever you want to call it. She graded it like an essay, so. Own. Um, something we'd done. That was important, and I think. I think I saved it somewhere, but I don't know what. I have way too many binders, because I've got both my story binders. Not in that one. I'm actually just. I think I took everything out of that one. Okay, I don't know where it went. I might have threw it away because I didn't pass because I forgot to underline the title of one of my books. And don't get me wrong, I love that teacher, but that made me so mad. But so, um, anyways, but, um, it talked about how the one single snowflake book turned into what was at the time five alex's adventure books sorry about all that noise in the background and then it turned back into three or no just two i don't know where my brain is probably up in the clouds or something too bad i can't get a plane ticket to get it back <laughs> but um so anyways where was i So then that same app kicked me out again. And at that point, I just kind of gave up on it. So luckily, I had moved two of them to my notes, which were the first two books. Alex's Adventures, Stop the Fae, and Alex's Adventures, Evie, Stop the Fae, being about Alexandra's first time in the magical world and trying to help keep her friends alive, pretty much. But also not telling them that, oh yeah, just so you guys know, we had the chance to go back and I kind of said no. Yeah, she, she doesn't tell them about that. And then so that leads into book two, Alex's Adventures Evie, where it actually really introduces the protective sides of each character. So um, I deleted all of the old fairy POVs because I look back on those and... Um, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> but so, um, but Evie does come from that. Fun fact. 
and then so inspired by that I started playing around with characters like Midnight which is Luna's protective version and then um Alex has one but I haven't introduced her yet so I'm excited too her name is going to be I'm pretty sure I've decided I think the name is going to be Tundra I just kind of like it and then Snowflakes is Glacier. Those are the only ones I've really had decided names for right now. Thinking Roses might be something like Thorn. And then Mia, Jane, and Kate all have one. And I don't know why I wasted time creating them when the girls don't have their memories except Jane. And Jane's just being a liar right now. <laughs> but so, you know. Anyways, so... Where was I going? Oh, right. But so pretty much what I'm saying is that those two books, I'm now working on the fourth one again. I lost those in, I think, like April. So I'm not, <laughs> I'm not moving super fast, but I'm not moving too slow either. Finishing a chapter every few days. Right now I'm at a point that's very important to the story. And if you see me keep looking over there, my computer's right there and I'm very tempted to work. <laughs> but I'm filming, so. Um, and anyways, let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see a little clip. Or not like a clip, but like a screenshot or something of what I'm working on. Now which one? I haven't decided which I would share. Because I've got, I'm working on Snowfall. Working on a like kind of a christian fiction thing which i'm excited to keep working on as well, as soon as i can remember to actually get my notebook out of my mom's car then there's all the alex's adventure stories and i feel like i'm forgetting one because it's in my binder so i kind of gave up on the uncontrolled series there is one video out um, and then there's also the prequel to Alex's adventures called Believe in Magic. And so it starts off talking about Eleanor, Princess Eleanor Dartmouth. And then it moves into, it starts out, and then like that's a whole prologue thing. And then it moves into the actual story itself. So just let me know, I think this is probably the one that I would share a little bit from, maybe a couple sentences, or I might just share a couple quotes. I mean, I'm working on a little coloring right there of one of my favorite quotes that's, hmm, I can't say the character's name, I haven't actually introduced her yet, that one of my characters says, and so I guess I'm not sharing that yet, but, ooh, I'll share my, I, I think I'm actually going to share my favorite of Alex's quotes, which I've commented on one of my videos before but i think i'm gonna put it in a post and include that whenever i actually get around to doing the stuff for alex because i've already gotten luna's done and then i did snows and i'm excited to do vowels because i love the dress i have for her and i think it look cute maybe with a jean jacket i'm debating and i have a one of my favorite tops picked out and now i'm just rambling um but yeah, so a year ago I started Alex's Adventures. I'm now working on book four, which is wow. I was expecting it to take me at least a year to write. Great, now I have a bit of a hiccup too. I was thinking it'd take me almost a year just to write the first one. But I am so happy that I get to share this with y'all. Bye, Snowdrops.